Shalom, shalom, family. Let's take a look at this right here. This is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you one more time. Let's look right here in Psalms 145. We're only going to look at the first four verses. As you can see, this is the King James Version. Let us begin. Let's not play no games. First of all, let's give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yehoah, the Holy One of Israel, our King, our Redeemer, and our Healer. He is our all in all, and besides Him, there is no other. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yah. Psalms 145, verse 1. I will extol thee, O God, O King. I will praise thy name forever and ever. Every day will I praise thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is Yehovah, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. So as you can see, this is talking about giving Yahweh praise forever and ever. But it's hard to give him praise forever and ever when too many of our people are praising and exalting Another, but we can plainly see from the psalmist David, he is letting you know that Yahweh is great and his name is to be exalted and extolled forever and ever. And forever does not have an expiration date. So, how can you continue to overlook the name of Yah and think for somehow, think for some reason, you are giving him praise when you exalt another name above his own. I don't know how that works, family. But anyway, just want to come at you with this quick video right here. This was Psalms 145. You can read the fullness of it in your entirety. You know, you got free time. But I just wanted to speak on them for first four verses. And that's it. So this is your brother, Yael Ezra Ben-Levin, a.k.a. Tommy Kurt Todd. Shalom, love, and blessings.